So <laughs> the New York Times just put this article out about the Saudi prince just bought the world's most expensive home, okay? It's a $300 million chateau and is one of a string of extravagant purchases for a prince who is cracking down on ill-gotten wealth and preaching fiscal austerity. All right? So you think, oh, wow, this is going to be real hard-hitting. They're going to... It is the most candy-ass softball reporting of this egregious wealth and corruption of Saudi Arabia. It's, un, it's just like... Here's something that's not mentioned in the article. Yemen. Well, that's weird. The New York Times didn't want to talk about that. And it just, it literally, it's like, it, this should be in the entertainment section the way they report about this. It's it just, oh wow, this big wealthy group of uh, super rich assholes firm maybe bought this. It's like, and they kind of just skim on the surface of like what he's doing, how he jailed a bunch of his cousins and people that were threats to him and he put them in some jail in some fancy resort. Like, but this guy, no mention of what Saudi Arabia is doing. No mention of how Trump and Obama each sold the Saudis, you know, a hundred plus billion dollars worth of arms. Each one of those presidents did that. No mention of the 130 kids that are dying every day in Yemen as a result of the blockade and the bombing. No mention of that at all. It's just this like, it's, it's literally, it's like, it's like a, it's reading like a celebrity thing, like Kanye West, a company that Kanye West works for bought a fancy home. Are him and Beyonce getting back together? What, it's just, it's unreal. It's, it's just, it's in the world section of the New York Times. I, I'll, I'll, I'll read some quotes from it, but you got, read the whole, it's unbelievable. I, I read the whole thing. I'm like, there's no mention of any of the awful crap that Saudi Arabia is doing. It's just like, and this is what this guy does. Uh, okay, so it's like when the Chateau Louis XIV sold for over $300 million two years ago, Fortune magazine called it the world's most expensive home, and town and country swooned over its gold-leafed fountain, marble statues, and hedged labyrinth in a 57-acre landscape park. Um, but for all the lavish details, one fact is missing. The identity of the buyer. Hmm. Now it turns out that the paper trail leads to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salam, heir to the Saudi throne and the driving force behind a series of bold policies <laughs> transforming Saudi Arabia and shaking up the Middle East. Bold policies. Wow. Just get on your knees and suck the Saudi's dick for the love of God. Unre bold policies? The worst humanitarian crisis ever in Yemen. Bold policies. Obama in 2016 was such a warrior for peace when he dropped 26,171 bombs just in 2016 alone. Unreal, man. Um, the 2015 purpose purchase appears to be one of several extra extravagant acquisitions, including 500 million yacht and a 450 Leonardo da Vinci painting. So I'm, I'm, I'm worried about $1.25 billion in bullshit that this rich asshole has purchased. I wonder, would that, could that feed anybody in Yemen? Could that end the humanitarian crisis in Yemen? $1.3 billion in rich guy asshole purpose, purchases? No mention of that. Any mention of what this could, could fund or pay for or the people it could help? No. Thanks, New York Times. Um... The most that they do is like, uh, oh, they talk they talk about this chateau on and on. It's, ooh, a 440-foot yacht. Versailles style, modern amenities. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a fucking, it's a, it's a celebrity home article. Like, we're all supposed to read these and go, oh, boy, I would love that. I wouldn't want this. I don't know. Are you going to put Syrian refugees in here because you've helped create them? with the United States bullshit petrodollar war for that pipeline through Syria? Is that, is that, there's no, oh, there's no mention of that in this article. God, Saudi Arabia is awful. He sh this is the other title. So they, they title each one of these bullshit sections, an assertive young leader. Oh, he's assertive. Okay. Well, what a go-getter. He is assertive. Yeah, okay, absolutely. 
Mussolini was a, a very thorough with public transportation in Italy. Um, in less than three years in the public eye, Crown Prince Muhammad 32 has forged a reputation as an assertive, some critics say reckless, but certainly you're not one of the critics, New York Times corporate mouthpiece. Some, not us. I would never say that. He launched an air campaign in, ne in Yemen and spearheaded the blockade of Qatar. That's it. That's their only mention. What's the next sentence? Going to go into details of all the people that are dying as a result of this? Yet he also appears to have won the popular support of many young Saudis for reigning in the country's relig religious police. Who? Young rich Saudis? Promising to give women the right to drive and announcing the, that movie theaters will allow to be open again. Wow. What a reformer. That's so great. That's so great. But his swift rise has ruffled some of his elders, especially when he shoved his older cousin to become crown prince. Oh, rich kids having a fight over daddy's money. Austerity at home, luxury abroad. Oh God, this whole article is just, just it's so offensive. And it's just peeling the owner, the layers of ownership. That's all it does. The dream of his life, these are the things. Hans Kauchi, a Maltese hospitality executive who caters to the super wealthy, applied for building permits to reconstruct the stables. <laughs> these, these, all these things. Oh, God. The one percenters, man, the shit that they buy, the people they could have. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. I just bought new clothes. Like, I just bought new shoes for the first time in two years because I, I had a, like, Part of 2016 and part of 2017 were really tough years for my financially. Now things are doing, this show is doing better. I'm doing that show on FNX. Um, we re we changed the title, the FNX Comedy Experience. We shot our first episode. So I'm, I'm making, I'm not rich. I'm just making okay money. I'm not like barely getting by. I bought new shoes for the first time in two years. I bought them at Ross. Cause I just can't like paying more than 30, $40 for shoes. I can't justify it. I couldn't, if I had billions of dollars, I just couldn't do it. I mean, I, I'd buy like a million dollar home. <laughs> that would be like my extravagant purchase. I just bought a new car. It's, the, it's only the second new car I've ever bought. And it's an electric car and they cut the price ray down and I get a tax break and they get money back from the state. <laughs> like it's, when it's all done, the car is gonna cost me 16 grand. That's my extravagant lifestyle. I can't, I don't know how you look yourself in the mirror. How you see poor people and just go, wow, I could help them. I could help them. And I'm not. I don't know how you look at yourself in the mirror. And I don't know the New York Times. God, there's just such bullshit. Oh, it's a hard hitting piece. Boy, there's some stuff that happened in Yemen. Some stuff? Yemen? There... No, the worst humanitarian crisis in the history of the recorded time. That's what's happening. Oh God, this drives me nuts. Because I mentioned Saudi Arabia and the title of, you better believe this is gonna get demonetized. <laughs> so thanks for watching and supporting the show. I, we start, we take a month off with the FNX comedy show in San Bernardino. We start back up January 14th. The dates are below at grandmelwood.com. If you're doing any Christmas shopping and you're gonna shop at, uh, Amazon, use my Amazon affiliate link. That's a little less money that you're giving to Jeff Bezos, <laughs> the CIA operative Jeff Bezos. So thanks for supporting this show, you guys. If I ever have billions of dollars, I, if I buy a mansion, I'm gonna put a bunch of working class families in it. <laughs> it's not gonna be some abandoned summer home that I just fly over and throw gold at and then land in another rich country that poor people aren't allowed in. Oh my God, this makes me so angry. Thanks for watching. Bye.